Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I am showing you how to create the ultimate in-home spa experience by creating your own DIY shower steamer. These shower steamers are relaxing and uplifting. They're filled with botanicals and essential oil. And like always, you only need a few ingredients. Guys, if you wanna see how to make these shower steamers, well, keep watching. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. So our first ingredient is going to be sodium bicarb. This is baking soda. So I'm using two and a half cups of sodium bicarb, which I've already sifted out. So the next ingredient is going to be cream of tartar. I'm using one teaspoon of cream of tartar. So the cream of tartar is what's going to make our shower steamer hard and make it last a little bit longer in the shower, or at least that's what I've experienced. Now I'm just going to go ahead and stir up these two ingredients to make sure that they're mixed in really well before I move on to the next ingredient. Okay, so now that our ingredients are stirred in really well, let's move on to the next ingredient, which is citric acid. So I'm using a one cup of citric acid, and the citric acid is what's going to make our shower steamer react when the water hits it. So guys, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. So you see these two little clumps? I'm just going to go ahead and mash those up so that they're included with the rest of my citric acid. So now, I'm just going to give my mixture a stir to make sure that the citric acid, the cream of tartar, and the sodium bicarb are all mixed in really well before we move on to our next step. So you can certainly use a stand mixer to mix this up if you want, but I thought it was easier to go ahead and just stir it in myself. So now let's add in some beautiful florals. So these are rose petals. So I'm just going to actually add them into my mix so that my steamers actually have rose petals inside. And because the rose petals do have a scent, they are going to actually give off a nice little scent when the steamers are in action. I'm also going to add in a little bit of calendula. And this is just going to add a really nice pop of color to our shower steamers. So in addition to adding the rose petals and the calendula into our mix, I'm also going to add in these flower petals to my mold. So I'm just placing them on the bottom of the molds so that once my shower steamers are complete, they'll have beautiful florals on the top, on the outside of the shower steamer. So these are just the florals that I chose, but you can certainly use whatever florals or botanicals you like. You can choose any color you like, and you certainly don't have to use them on the inside of the shower steamer, but I think that adds a really nice touch. So I'm just going to mix them into my mixture so that they're mixed in really well and they're in the inside of the shower steamer. So just as a quick FYI and side note, I did split my mixture in half because I'm going to be using two different essential oil combinations. So the first essential oil combination that I'm going to be using is eucalyptus and peppermint. And in order to make this combination, I combined one teaspoon of castor oil, and I also added in 48 drops of eucalyptus along with 48 drops of peppermint. So it's just an equal amount. And this is my combination that's going to give me a very uplifting shower experience. 
So once I get all of my essential oils into my mixture, I'm just going to go ahead and stir it up with my spatula. You can certainly use your hands to stir this up. If you do use your hands, just make sure that you're wearing gloves like I am. So now that I have my essential oil stirred in, it's now time to go ahead and moisten our shower steamer mix. So I'm just using 91% alcohol. You can certainly use witch hazel in order to do this, but I had alcohol on hand, so for this particular shower steamer, that's what I'm going to use. Very much like bath bombs, we want it to have a very sort of sand-like consistency. So I'm just making sure that it is damp, not overly wet. And to me, it actually sort of looks like a ball of snow almost. So I'm just going to make sure that, you know, it is moist enough for it to stick together. So once our mixture is moist enough, it's now time to move on to the next step, which of course is filling our mold. So I have a mold that I can put six shower steamers in. So what I'm going to do is basically split this in half. So I'll be doing three shower steamers with the mint and eucalyptus scent, and then three other shower steamers with a scent that we'll talk about in just a little bit. So now that we have the first three molds complete, let's go ahead and add in our additional essential oils that we talked about earlier. So I'm using sweet orange, lang lang, and bergamot. But first I'm going to go ahead and add in some florals so that these look as lovely as the first ones we created. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour in my essential oil. I'm going to mix it in like the first shower steamers that we created. We just want to make sure that this mix is moist, but not overly moist. So I'm using my 91% alcohol in order to moisten the mixture. And now that my mixture is clumping together, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of my mold with my shower steamer mix. So it's been 24 hours and my shower steamers are now ready to come out of the mold. So I'm just going to gently give them a push and pull them out of the mold and set them aside. And guys, they smell so good. This is going to be the best at home spa-like experience that I've had in a while and I'm so excited.
So guys, these are our final shower steamers. They smell absolutely amazing and they look beautiful too. So products that I use can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.